Tune into Channel 4 Sunday to watch a long list of celebrities join New Orleans' own Harry Connick Jr. and his daughter Georgia for a special tribute. The CBS special, United We Sing, a Grammy tribute to the unsung heroes, celebrates essential workers we depend so much on during the COVID-19 pandemic. Harry and Georgia are with us today to reveal a few details of what you'll see. Thank you guys for being with us. It's great to be with you. Good to be home. And Georgia, you're actually a filmmaker. Very cool. So I understand the two of you guys decided to drive an RV from your home in Connecticut down to your hometown in New Orleans and make some stops along the way to meet with essential workers just to say thanks. And then, of course, CBS jumped on board. Why was this something that you guys felt compelled to do? Well, my parents raised me to, you know, be appreciative of those folks uh, in the communities around us that that help us. Uh, and uh, particularly in this climate, uh, these these folks are risking their lives by doing, you know, normally everyday things like picking up the trash or cleaning, uh, you know, the floors at a hospital or being an elementary school teacher or driving a streetcar, whoever, whoever it is, um, you know, our, our folks taught us that. And, and we, Jill and I think it's important to show our daughters that. So we wanted to go on the road and Georgia was going to film me thanking these everyday essential workers. And then CBS got involved and decided to film us doing that. And then more and more people wanted to be involved to thank these these amazing people, people like Oprah and Sandra Bullock and Queen Latifah, Jamie Foxx, Tim McGraw, Drew Brees, a whole bunch of people wanted to, to thank them as well. So uh, it was an incredible cross country RV trip with just me and Georgia. And uh, I can't wait for people to see it. We can't wait to see it either. Now, Georgia, your dad actually drove the RV. Was that scary? Honestly, no. Like, I actually thought like it was going to be a little scary, but he's an amazing driver. Okay, I was so. terrified. <laughs> well, yeah, try, drive, try driving through Chinatown in an RV. Well, can't Bourbon imagine. Street. Oh, oh, yeah, Bourbon Street. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Wow. Not was, fun. <laughs> well, you guys, it would have been a lot scary if I was driving, but no. I love that you guys. It was actually not bad. <laughs> I love that you guys got to bond. Tell me about an, an encounter that sticks out in your mind. One of the essential workers that you met along the way. It's almost impossible, but uh, we met an incredible woman in New Orleans. Uh, she's a supervisor at the RTA. She uh, handles a lot of streetcar operators. Uh, I think she does that herself. And the, I'm not going to tell you what she told me, but the fact that she went back to work after going through what she went through was was mind blowing. Um, and to meet this incredibly powerful, uh, dedicated woman was very humbling and inspirational to Georgia and to me. Uh, and that was so the whole concept behind this was to have these celebrities thank them via Zoom. So when this woman, Joy Palmer, uh, when after I finished talking to her, I said, hey, Miss Joy, somebody wants to say thanks. And I flipped the iPad around and it was Sandra Bullock. Wow. And, you know, to see people's reactions, because and listen, it was the easiest phone call I ever made to, to all of these incredible folks. And, and they said, we want to be a part of it. And Sandra was like, thank you. Thank you for everything that you're doing. And it was it was emotional, man. It was it was uh, really, really a heavy trip. And I'm, I'm so honored that we got a chance to do it. And we can't wait to hear Joy's story. And I know a lot of people love Sandra Bullock here as well because she's done a lot of things in our community too. You guys had a long list. She's of, amazing. She's fantastic. And you guys had a long list of celebrities help out. You just mentioned Sandra Bullock, but you also had a lot of New Orleans favorites. Tell us more about that. It, it was it was fantastic. So you know I'm always looking out for New Orleans. So any chance I can to sort of get some New Orleans talent uh, on whatever I'm doing, I try to do. So Irma Thomas, Trombone Shorty, Rockin' Doopsy, uh, uh, Winton and Branford Marsalis, Jason Marsalis. Uh, we do an incredible tribute to Ellis. Um, I'm blanking out. We did a lot, a lot more, but it's 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 pretty cool. Uh, Jonathan Baptiste is on it. So there's a lot of we, we we're coming at you know we're, we're getting represented all over the country in lots of ways. But don't don't tell that to any other cities. I'm a little biased toward New Orleans, you know. Well, we hope so. We sure love you guys here. And Georgia, you're a filmmaker. Tell us quickly about your career, what you're doing right now, besides this really cool project. 
Um, I'm doing freelance right now. So I'm working with um, a couple people to do uh, some travel videography and photography, which I'm really excited about. But um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a lot, but it's, it's very exciting. I'm very excited for what's coming up. Well, best of luck in your career. And thank you guys so much. We can't wait to see it. Thanks. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. We sure will. And tune into Channel 4, guys, for the special event this Sunday night. United We Sing, a Grammy tribute to the unsung heroes. It will start at 7 o'clock.